can you trust that you won't blow so our first real sunny day is followed by waking up to rain not so cold though last night it was one of the warm the warmest night well the warmest night we've had but um rain for about an hour now So we're trying a, a new method this morning because it's rained most of the morning. We're using this microcloth, drying out the surface of the tent. So it gives it a, a fighting chance to completely dry out. because I didn't film it at the beginning, but it was soaked before I started doing that. Absolutely big puddles of water. Now, with a little bit of moving air, it should pretty much dry out before we set off. So we leave our little woodland, woodland camp and try and find our way back to the path. Leave nothing behind. We don't want to have any impact on leaving muck or bags or plastic in the wilderness. Michelle and I were pretty responsible in that respect. It was a nice uh, night's camp in, in all. We had um, a much warmer night. Didn't even need to have our heads under the covers last night and uh, a lot of spiders quite big sort of wood spiders with big bodies nothing scary just They're lots all of them outside the tent up in the in inside the lining but not inside the tent yeah <laughs> yeah we weren't having spiders in the tent <laughs> but they were everywhere and we were carefully trying to make sure we left them behind we left them all there there's quite a few, I can't see any now, but there's a lot of mushrooms yes. in this wood this morning. We've already been out of, onto the path this morning once to have our breakfast and a little live show. If you want to check out that particular live show, I think it's called Joggle Day Nine. Good morning. Mm. Kim says it looks beautiful and green in, oh, in the motherland. Oh, just got Who lot. said? Kim, somebody. Kim. Tetulum, tool man. The tool man, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Kim Tetulman. The tool man. The tool man. Good morning. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we talk a little bit about finances. We're back on the path. If you're not already a supporter on Patreon, by the way, patreon.com slash Steve Owens. Do go across and share a little bit of love. But if you're just enjoying, just hit the thumbs up and leave us enjoy. a comment yeah enjoy the video leave us a comment yeah say, say what you think <sighs> packs feel a little lighter a little lighter oh i'm just feeling a bit more fit and they're not lighter they're actually the same weight as last night <laughs> but maybe it's early in the day we feel a bit stronger i did ache last night you know we we got extra water and we got a lot of shopping and i did ache because I felt the last half of the day walking, there was a real weight on my back. In fact, I can feel it again today a little bit. We're, we're heavier than we would normally be. But see, last night we actually ate, which we quite often forget to do. We forget to eat properly at the end of the day. And we've had a good breakfast this morning. Yeah, and we did it to try and eat some of the weight. <laughs> Realistically, it was like, oh, I can't carry all this stuff. So it's good. On our merry way, it's a... Uh, Another wintry day in the summer of Scotland. Uh, yesterday was nice, but uh, today is very wintry and bleak, but I think we'll be fine. Here is our road. Now we've seen here, there's a loch behind us. I don't know the name, I'll put up a little map. Um, and unfortunately, because of the loch, we have to go all the way back out up to the main road which is quite a way, and then walk along the A9 again um, and cross over the bridge that goes over the lock. 
There used to be a ferry here apparently at one time, which would have cut the whole lock out, but I think it's long since stopped functioning, which is a great shame because for hikers, it would cut off many kilometers, many kilometers of walk. Anyway, it is what it is. We didn't come all this way to uh, moan and complain. Oh yes, we did. <laughs> we got to do that. Yeah, we got to moan and complain. <laughs> yeah, we did come this way to moan and complain. Cold weather, wind, rain, Scottish summers. A9. <laughs> bog up to your knees but we we love, it. we love it and we're so happy that we're having to go you can't even see it in the distance there back up all this pathway to the a9 because in this day and age a small ferry across a lock is not worth running and i've just seen it's called lock fleet <sighs> Put my hat on, it's getting a bit cool. But we're just gonna miss a train, unfortunately. Just ahead of us, the red lights are flashing. You probably won't be able to see it. But let's film, see what we get. There she goes, just two carriages. and the gates are up. All done. And so, we're back at the A9. Stopped at that farmhouse and got some water off a very friendly farmer. But now, it's back to pounding the pavements for a while. This <laughs> farmer. And a lot more of uh, of this walking, but at least the roads are flat. Well, apart from the hills, don't you think, Michelle? I think so. Easier than the lumpy fields. Oh. That's the only thing. You've got to be on your wits. That's our farmer friend. All right, I'm going to stop now and we concentrate on the path. Yeah, idiot. Another idiot. Speeding and not bothering to move fully over for us. Oh, I remember the A9. The joys of walking this road. why we, Michelle and I, chose to go back onto the coastal road for quite some time, just to break this up a bit. Anyway, I'm going to concentrate on walking. We'll see you guys later. many are inconsiderate that guy there even there's no one behind us just get over he's looking at us the whole way the lady before that just you taught it in your highway code slow for oncoming obstructions on the road it's it's commonplace how to handle it you shouldn't have a license if you don't know how to drive on narrow roads you shouldn't have a license Okay, we've come off the A9, down there. Up another hill. Up another hill. <laughs> the camera's charging over on the grass bank. Well, there's the no sunshine. there's no sun. No sun. No sun. And we're going to stop. We're going to have a cup, make up some rolls. 
hot chocolate. And hot chocolate, and we've got some camembert from the co-op, and a little bit of uh, chorizo, I think. chorizo or salami or something. Sliced chorizo. Chorizo. So uh, yeah, we're going to stop for a while. We've just come up a bit of a hill. We've yeah, we've quite a big hill, and we're 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 motoring along today. Yeah. We we're, we're very near Lock Fleet. Fleet. And we're going to cross Lock Fleet in the next uh, few hundred meters, but we're just going to have a stop, recharge, it's hot drink, time. some food, <laughs> lunchtime, refuel. Literally, thirty seconds after that last film, it is chucking it down, big, big raindrops. Oh, I'm tired of Scotland <laughs> in the summertime. I'm tired of walking in the rain. I was enjoying it today. Now it's all ruined lovely red hue though i can recommend any of you looking for a red hue uh, for your filming maybe for um cinematic effect a uh, red poncho. poncho gives off a beautiful red hue <laughs> for that count dracula look you said you said you take me for a picnic i know in the scottish highlands we've um just come off that road because we thought it was a nice little spot to stop and we are absolutely drenched Everything's ruined, our picnic's all soggy, our hot chocolate's all filling up quicker than we can drink it. But anyway, summer in Scotland, what can I say? There's no way of avoiding this stretch of road, it seems. I don't know, I mean, I don't know what the solution is for walkers, really. I don't know. There's a council that have obviously spent many decades ignoring the plight. And really, are too busy feathering their own nests with wealthy retirement funds and jobs for the lads. This is where some of the money should be spent. Putting bridleways and cycleways and paths alongside your major roads. It's not rocket science, you know. It's not rocket science. And maybe uh, on a road that we frequently see walkers and cyclists on, maybe a few more signs warning drivers to go more carefully. I don't think, to be honest, the beast that is government really cares about the beast that is the people. Let's be honest. I'll tell you what, you could vote me in to be your government. And the first thing I do is make sure that I'm the only one that got voted in that stays in because the rest of them can go and find proper jobs and we'll start over again because it's the only way. And sorry, I know there's a handful of you that think you're doing a good job, but the rot needs to be cut out from the heart and a fresh new start. That's what's needed. Thank you. Horrible corner. Oh man. Not so good. Bloody hell. It's a nightmare of a corner. This one. bad corner, I'm not happy about it. 
plus it's there's not a lot of space. Should we go the other side this time? Maybe. It's very rare times I want to walk with my back to the traffic, but this bend is one of them. There's no curb at all, and it's really tight to the corner. And the speed, the traffic's coming around that corner and hugging it. Whereas on this side, at least, at least we have a bit. But they're all speeding. They've, there's speed camera signs there saying slow for corners, but they're all speeding. None of them are going slow. Yep, I don't. In the slightest like the look of that bend. Possibly. If it is, it's our lay-by. <laughs> oh. Maybe it's that road to Doorknock. It's a big call. But that road is so dangerous now. Michelle and I think we're going to follow this lock road. It, it actually adds quite a bit of distance onto our walk but you know the the evening's drawing in and uh, I, I don't like that road at all it's not it's got a bad feel about it so we're at Lock Fleet didn't take us many minutes just to put the tent up here we we're gonna have a rest she was uh, to dry anyway she was wet from last night the rain this morning so we're gonna have a rest and uh, might even stop for the night, I think. We might do, we might do. It's the A9 again, it keeps doing us in. When we're off it, we're a lot happier. And this is off it a little bit, around the lock. Got a lovely view for the morning. Sometimes you've got to look at it to see what you've done. You know, we've, we've come all the way around the top of this lock, up this big hill. Not the big hill, the one in front along this road and down into this woodland and then off into the distance we've done probably a good close to 10 miles today of walking and uh, yeah you've got a look it was a farm that we went through over here so possibly even that woodland over there that we started at because we could have got a ferry actually there used to be a ferry across uh, across here this these two little bits here there's a sign there look go north down this bank but no don't go north down this bank 